Yeah, well, we want to check in with meteorologist Kelly Green, who's checking how this is going to impact us for the rest of the evening. Kelly? Yes, guys. So, you know, obviously, as Mary mentioned, we know the roads are going to continue to deteriorate, and that is because the snow is intensifying. We've seen these bands of heavy snow really taking over central Indiana from the sleet and freezing rain and just rain, now all snow. That continues to bring the heavy snow with the ice that we already have had. We still have a pocket of some of those icy conditions. So then we're layering the snow on top of the ice. And we have had over three-tenths of an inch of ice accumulation in some locations. Madison, Delaware County, your area certainly a concern. We're going to see those winds increasing, power outage are going to be a concern. The winds will be picking up 15 to 25 miles per hour, so that is going to whip that ice around. It's also going to cause the possibility of some of those power outages. Blowing and drifting snow coming down horizontally at times, remaking those roads that may have already been salted slick all over again. It's going to be tough evening as those trucks are out there working on the roads. Be safe if you have to travel. If not, just stay home. Just stay home. Mm -hmm. Good <laughs> That's advice. the way to do it, right? <laughs> I think a lot of viewers are probably wondering, they've seen the snow totals that we right. were advertising yeah. all yeah. week, and maybe they didn't get well, it where they were. I mean, were. look, I mean, come on now. We, you know, we had that band, and we try to say they were at low confidence because of the, the area of, of mixing. And uh, so, yeah, we... The five to eight, that's not going to happen in the city. Now, mm -hmm. I will say I still think this is going to be impactful on the roads okay. Okay. as we move forward. Kelly was talking about blowing and drifting, and we show you the picture here from Tipton uh, where we're getting the blowing snow right now. So uh, this is going to cause a problem even after the snow stops in your area. Here's a view from Connorsville where you're waiting on the switch to be flipped. And then our last stop, take a look at this, in Greensburg where it's a freezing rain for the time being but here in the next hour or so, that's going to change. Low visibility here downtown, 26 northeast wind, and Mary was talking about this on the circle. We've got sustained wind of about 25 to 30 and gusts that are 40 plus. So uh, we're going to have some visibility issues and some blowing snow issues as well, and that is going to make the roads uh, a mess as these temperatures continue to fall down here. We're at 26 in Indy, Bloomington now getting some decent snow. I uh, had a report of some icing in Bedford. We're going to start to see that transition from uh, a mix and freezing rain to snow here. And it's uh, snow across the metro right now. And I think uh, easily we probably have another uh, three hours, three or four hours or so. We're going to have this moderate to at times heavy snow around the Indy metro area. Those dark shades of blue down near Spencer and near Bloomington. Uh, that is some uh, heavy snow. And uh, we still have a ways to go. The system is uh, beginning to intensify. It's going to move around the Ohio River. So uh, the show is definitely not over in many uh, areas. It's just getting started. So we're going to put this three to six inch band here on the eastern half of the state. And, uh, you know, three inches is very possible here downtown before this thing wraps up. But regardless, even a little bit of snow with the ice, and that's what it's turning into, the rain that we have, um, it's going to be real, real slick here tonight into tomorrow morning. And temperatures tomorrow for highs only make it into the teens. On top of that, we're going to have some lake effect uh, snow showers and squalls at times for tomorrow as well. So even tomorrow, I still think we're going to have some messy travel around central Indiana. On top of that, out the door in the morning, wind chill values 10 to 5 to 10 below zero. So a snowy, windy evening, hazardous travel through the evening into tomorrow morning, sub-zero wind chills, and a bitter Sunday here in central Indiana. And if we do clear out, and that's what we're thinking tomorrow night into Monday morning with the fresh snow on the ground and a taste of Arctic air around, this is what we're thinking right now, about 10 below. Uh, some areas could be colder than that Monday morning in the deeper snow here in central Indiana with wind chills of about 15 to 25 below zero. We've got a little brief uh, reprieve there uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, but then another shot of bitter air later in the week. So Scott just took a shot to the gut. <laughs> oh, I know. When we, you mentioned well, we're, we're definitely paying the piper. Uh, yeah. You know, for you know, we 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 got off the hook for a long, long time, and uh, right now the a lot of signals pointing toward a pretty wintry setup here in the next five weeks. I keep thinking 